All right, I wanted to take a minute and go over uh, our Axworthy Ghost we built a few years back, um, just in hopes that maybe it'll help somebody else doing the project. A little more of a project than we expected, but it went well, and we made a few uh, made a few design changes based on um, some of Prop Boys' information I saw on on the pulleys, and the pulleys I think are what made the real difference on how everything worked. Um, first of all, real quick, the way we hooked the ghost up is we used a hanger, an old piece of wire hanger, and twisted around to make a coil, and then that came down to hold the ghost. And we did this so that the, the line could twist and spin, and the ghost would stay independent of that and wouldn't cause a problem for it. And then just right there, you see the knot where we used it to uh, to tighten up the line. The line is actually a tarred line, a tarred fishing line. Um, heavy duty, pretty thick, but it, it works very well. It doesn't stretch out a lot. And then the key, instead of using a bicycle wheel, I think one of the biggest keys was to use these V Grove. And these are bolt, the boat pulleys. I guess a bow pulley for a trailer. And uh, they are they are sticky. And I think that stickiness causes the line to spin a bit, but with that, with that uh, modified hanger, it doesn't cause a problem. Um, one thing they do each year, though, is uh, we'll run a crayon on it to kind of lubricate the line and to lubricate the pulley. It drops the sand down quite a bit, and uh, it makes it run a lot smoother. And then that pulley is just it's just a bolt welded onto a post. Um, you could use wood as well, and then I just made sure that uh, the shaft of the bolt was smooth all the way down so no threads were inside of that bolt pulley. And then all I did is use a little bit of axle grease to grease it up, and uh, we greased it one, once. Uh, this has been three, well, at least three years in a row that we've used it, and only had to grease it that one time. So this just goes back to a brace, and we actually just tie that brace to a tree. So it's a, a welded piece of metal. And then up against the house, there's another one just like it with that boat pulley out there. And we just tie it with a rope to the, uh, to the post on the porch. It's been working well. So there's the ghost. And now let's go take a look at the, the motor. So the motor, well, here, I'll start down here. We use, uh, we've been using a Harbor Freight, um, just a, a router, uh, I guess it's a router controller, just to give you some variation in the speed. And then used a the motor is from uh, from an old treadmill. So it's a DC motor. Just bought a uh, just bought a uh, ridge rectifier, so I could change it and use that. And then that motor uses just a polyurethane pulley that we got off of uh, off of Amazon. You can just weld the two pieces together with uh, a hot torch. It very very the length, but that pulley just runs from the motor right over. And then Goes pulling by, so I just uh, put a little piece in there to use it, so I could use a a turnbuckle to vary the tension on that belt. And it's just not a ton of tension. I haven't had to make any changes on it, and it uh, applies just very nicely. And then the same deal there with the uh, with the axle grease. So you jump down, you can get an idea of how it looks. Say it runs very nice. It's quiet. You can hear the pulley here. So the, the the furthest pulley away is up on uh, the basketball standard. So it's about a it's, about a it's a 60 foot run on the one length, and then one pulley up against the house, and then uh, the other one on the tree out here. So it makes for a fairly violent turn at the corners with that smaller wheel. 
but uh, I think it's that V-shape of the bow roller that makes it so I don't have to have a crazy amount of tension on it and uh, and so that it also does a really good job of holding itself on so uh, it doesn't fall off I don't have to have other guide rollers to roll it in and uh, we've just been using the same thing year after year we'll use a, a rope on this end over by the tree to tension the rope uh, tension the line and to pull it onto that pulley each year but uh, haven't had to retension the line or anything so it's it's been really maintenance low maintenance uh, it was easy to build fun to build and it's worked like a champ since day one um, the hardest thing we had to do is play with the, the ghost which is a little walmart special you know, 15 20 dollar ghost we had to play with that to get it so that it would face forward while it was flowing or while it was going on the line but uh, nothing special on the ghost one year the kids put uh, walkie talkies in it and uh, had a great time talking to the, to the neighbor kids as they as they walked by. So, fun project. Uh, it worked out well. Um, everything, the fishing line was on from Amazon. The pulleys were from Amazon. And, uh, and again, just the motor from an old treadmill, bridge rectifier to change it from AC to DC. Um, I'd probably like to spend a little more money to get a better motor controller so I can dial the speed down a little bit more. But uh, it, it works great. It's been fun. It's been a big hit in the neighborhood. So I hope you enjoy that. hope it uh, gives you a few ideas on how to do an Axeworthy. But uh, fun project. I would recommend it. It's not uh, the huge pain that everyone said it was. So again, bow rollers I think are the key. And then that, uh, that wire to let the ghost ride and to let the, the line spin without causing a problem. All right, good luck.